Why, hello. Yeah, I'm off. It's it, man, man. It, man, man. If it's... I'm ready. So... We could just run through the three sniper missions real quick. I guess. They're not really my cup of tea, but like, I'll give them a try. So kill everybody, huh? I guess, I don't really know. Good afternoon, 47. The wedding ceremony is about to begin with Lang and his daughter arriving shortly by car. It is expected that they will proceed directly to the open area where the groom and priest is waiting, along with it? all the wedding guests. Guillaume Maison has been on site all day, preparing the wedding details and entertaining guests. So I believe what I the goal is for these is kill the people as possible and the targets without the bodies Doris Lee is en route via so helicopter route wanna, and should be arriving any minute you shoot? My intel suggests she will not be watching the bride and groom exchange vows, but do keep a lookout anyway. We are working within a limited window of opportunity here, 47. We expect the targets to stay for no longer than 15 minutes. Good luck, 47. Body piercing ammo. How do you zoom in this game, dude? Up on D-pad. Is there like bullet trajectory? Alright. It's a high up then, huh? That should be hidden well enough for the time being. That is Guillaume Maison. The Kingfisher, former Interpol agent and the owner of the mansion and its grounds. <clears throat> I'm looking for the scene. This thing does not work here. Just load them in the wrong button. Look at that. Very clever, 47. They will not discover the body there. You're not a sneaking body, you're gonna get out of here. I don't want to hurt you. Sight, out of mind. For lead. You won't see him. You lost in the sauce, man. No right bell into it. Forty seven. Someone's on to you. Sorry, Sivvy. Had to happen. Forty-seven. They're beginning to suspect something. Lee has been eliminated. Good work, Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Targets are evacuating. Secure any remaining primaries now. <coughs> Forty-seven, you need to focus on Maison. He's attempting to leave the mansion area. Lang is down. Nice work, Forty-seven. Confirmed kill on Maison, Forty-seven. Oh, it hit the body, baby. Well done, 47. Yeah. Play for a first try to find. I'm not really 
future. Probably like a scripted way to do this, like order and everything you want to do. I don't know. It's, these really aren't my modes, so watch another list. <clears throat> On to port. On to you do. I don't think he's okay. Also, just must survive. I mean, bodyguards is possible, huh? Pin in the sword. I do have 15 minutes, I can take my time. That is Colonel Jin Nu, a.k.a. The Blade. Vicious and fanatical, Colonel Nu has orders to eliminate Ladong in case of an emergency. 47, the situation is about to become critical. That is Captain Ree Thak, a.k.a. Spider Lily. Gifted recruiter and intelligence officer in the Heavenly Guard. <clears throat> that should be hidden well enough for the time being. Better be. That is Captain Long Kwai, aka Dragon Eye, and his nickname after taking a bullet for the Heavenly Leader. That'll be fine. Well done, 47. I'm tracking 10 remaining targets. Captain Long Kwai. I'm so sorry. It was quick though, don't worry. Alright, maybe so. Forty-seven, an alarm went off. They're evacuating. Really gonna shoot at me? Really? Go with the shots, man. A uh, two. Heavenly Guard has been taken care of. I'll get an extraction team to secure the <coughs> hostages. Excellent work, 47. I oh, know. Literally, it's a 15 minute timer. I did it in three. Which isn't a good thing, I believe. So. Bro, my Wi Fi is not working. Third Megwell. Thank you. Next mission, please. I don't know why I just went down. It's not good. Serbia. Serbia. Client with plausible deniability by causing a riot inside the perm 14 facility. Many members of resident house members are in the death squad as possible.
That is Vitaly Reznikov, corrupt warden here at the Perm 14 prison facility. Lowering the flag seems to have triggered new activity in the facility. Um, I'm picking up chatter on the intercom. They're about to start Cabco's release. Taking out their communications. What are you thinking, 47? I'm not thinking anything, I'm just shooting, lady. That's Vitaly Reznikov taken care of. Well done, 47. Are you real lucky, sir? But there were Pierce. It's not. What are you doing over here? Nice shot, 47. Old war. Well done, 47. I'm tracking 10 remaining targets. Cabco is on the move, 47. Not sure where he's headed. I was right in the facility, huh? I'm looking how to do it. Hmm. What are you up to, 47? What am I up to, right? Perfect, 47. That seems to have started the riot. It should help cover our tracks and hide any bodies in the rioting crowd. Forty-seven. What on earth are you up to? I'm just popping fire at What do you want from me, lady? All right, 47. I'm counting seven remaining targets. That is Roman Cabco. High ranking 47, you're about to be spotted. Good work, 47. We're down to five remaining targets. <clears throat> That's fireworks, huh? Go with the explosion. Riots are spreading. The guards will be busy controlling the prisoners for quite a while. They're adding guards from the security tower to help quell the riots. I get you, I get you. Great work, 47. You are down to just three remaining targets. To where, where? Oh. 47, code red. Everyone is evacuating. Come back on. Target eliminated. Good work as always, 47. Oh, the know. riot should cover our tracks perfectly. I'll wire the money as per usual. The rat. Well, I mean, neat. <laughs> I'm probably doing that again right now. 
that me that might be something I do in my own time just like get a guide. I, I don't like the sniper assassin stuff. It's not what I play Hitman for. Alright then, so what do we got here? We can run Dubai again. Do the other missing stories here? Sure. What's the director commentary? Oh. No, all that's fine. Um, let's go. What, what do we got here? We did it how the money fall. Let's do insecurity. I would love to chat, but Marcus Stuyvesant was a god to us struggling artists. His and your generosity helped so many. That's kind of you. But I have a meeting. Ooh, with who? Can I come? No, Lucy. This is a private matter. Besides, this is your big day. You should mingle. Have fun. Oh, don't worry about that. Could you imagine inviting yourself to somebody else's meeting? That's insane to me. The door. Any news on the new guard assigned a code name Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowwood Rankin. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. I need to trade the staff area, don't mind if I do. It's all right, man. Just let it get that.
Doesn't do much for me. Alright. So. He's downstairs. Let's go downstairs. What are you having me up here for? is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you... Hey, you, the maintenance guy. I didn't realize that would... ID me. That's my bed. It makes total sense, as I wasn't thinking. I forgot that just taking stuff couldn't even ID you. So you were blind? and you are a woman it's just so embarrassing oh it's nothing i haven't seen before but you don't understand i'm military we military men are used to punctuality i i was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago yes you men in the army with your papers super punctual i get it yes are you making fun of me that's so cruel do you do you know what a man is without his gun <laughs> man in his boxes, crying like a baby. Ugh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. Four. I can't find it. Can't you just wear a waiter uniform? It would be pretty sexy. You would notice me? Alright. Here, buddy, you on me. That door is open. I didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. Make me look really bad. I'm sure it's 
around here somewhere. Don't you worry. My colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my box. You, know? you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you, do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes. Crying like a baby. Oh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. Later, nerd. I'm out of here. You don't close, huh? I don't know this yet. Obviously. I need to like an illegal weapon. You would see me, so like you're the one I'm worried about right now. This is where it gets real. The last nine hours have been a tutorial for what's coming now. You'll have some of the most important people. Got some noisy air conditioning. All right, weirdo. You say so. So freaking good, dude. Hello, anyone there? Somebody came down. So freaking good. If anyone's there, right? Ah, oh, frick, dude, I didn't even think about that. No one's gonna come this way anyway. I've been here for like five minutes, nothing's changed. Um. Watch him, buddy. By here, there's a fire. Have you ever been hmm. Hey, buds. 
reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Alright. So, how are you finding Dubai? Oh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yeah, you'd be surprised how stingy the rich can be, expecting you to take a bullet for them. It's just a job. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. But... Okay, you must be my new escort. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little duty. worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. There you go. Hello, sir. Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. Oh, I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Come on, let's walk. To tell you walk, we're walking. I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7. Unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, me? if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who could throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail? Get out of here. to do with you all that power. Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. Hey! Oh, hey! You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Someone could hurt themselves. All right, um, let's see here. Bird of prey.
bro. <laughs> you kidding me? This is right here, it's fine. So. I wasn't in the green wire. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt you cocky idiot. Look at that! Not bad at all. That was a magnificent! I like How dare you? I think we will get along just fine. You've okay. gained his trust. I got the right man now. What to do Thank with all that power? You take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. Let's get to work. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Whatever, man. Show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail? Get out of here and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you are. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky idiot. That was a magnificent performance. I like you. I think we will get along just fine. You've gained his trust. I got the right man now. What to do Thank with you all service. that power? I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. No, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. You can't enter- Zana Kazim, AKA the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? Without being searched, it's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Twist.
party. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or I'll do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. my coins please Thumbs up. You're frisking me, huh? Uh, drop. 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 Keep the change. Hi there. Hello, sir. Sir, I'm sorry. Good. This is a restricted area. Don't show yourself around here anymore. But I'm gonna walk through. The T pose. This is just standard procedure. Just a formality. Thank you for your cooperation. Please continue. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, hey, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Discovered Dubai. Hi there, friend. 20 out of 33. Hello, oh, sir. The Burj Al Ghazai. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. How are you oh. today, sir? My throat again? Thank you. Let the pros do their job. This is probably the balcony you push him out of for that one mission story. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's one I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. 
Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. Limited or pacify him. Take a picture to ensure he's capable of the assignment. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toad. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. I'll pacify this That's person. Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Old money? We'll just like walk out this door. A cannonball? Snap. Sir, sir, you're not authorized to be Oh my god. Be here. Go to have Bro, that was six minutes ago. Get out, my way. Sorry about this, sir. Won't be a moment. Won't be a moment. Thank you. Please proceed. Ma'am, talk to me. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Bow. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram. I'm away for Ingram in the meeting room. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a... Well, let's call it a dispute. The Royal Climate have tells me you're capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before. In Morocco, I believe. Though I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. 
now under the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. No need to panic. Sorry, sir. It seems you're not cleared for this area. I understand. I wasted six minutes of my life going up those stairs for one flight. Or one single step. More. Are you awake? Oh, you're on your phone. Mr. Lund, I hear yeah, you're looking hey. for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. I don't know about being in here. Evil closet in this one? No. It'll have to do. Don't come inside these thing in restrooms. Hans looked. I hear you're asking about some guests. Let's talk somewhere more private. What? You do? Great. Lead the way. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Look, he's a Polaroid. Looking for cams, but I'm not seeing anything, so who cares? Let's go. Yo, man. Yo, man. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture?
Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. <laughs> the penthouse, huh? Mr. Kazim. What's up? Please, follow me. What's it? What's going on? I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs. But you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. If you say so. Been his Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely. To have the tallest building in this thing of planet? Internet, you grew up one of the biggest, water, the biggest building. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. He bends the knee, dude. Here we are. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. How you been? Mr. Kazim. How you been? So good to see you. You have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Sorry, uh, we have Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, just remember something. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Ah, a drink. Good idea. I think I'll join you. Now, as I was saying, it's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Ugh. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be s sick. Hey, you okay? Ah. You should go see a doctor or something. You absolute fool. Where's the toiletries at? Let me know. Okay. Oh, you need to change your grollies after that. Bottom 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. We took the... what's it called last time? The, uh, that one. What one of the other two? There's a this one. Donkey, 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 donkey.
You're just an elevator? What are you? Can I climb down? Rise up. All oh, Mrs. Dory's on top of the world. Seventy-seven. Neat. Right, I'm gonna take like two minutes, and we'll come back and do one more before we do soggy. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do a late mission.